Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in Old World Blues, playing as the Brotherhood of Mars. Uh, we're in a civil war against Kaisar's Legion, but a lot has happened since the end of last episode. Now, take a look at the year. It's 2284. I believe I left you in 2282, so I've been at war, or playing this off-screen for about two years now. Um, I'm really d digging the Brotherhood of Mars emblem, flag, uh, but I did want to play this off screen just because it's been crazy. So, first is up. You'll notice that Kaiser's Legion, it's pretty unanimous in terms of size. Oh, we do have the Veil Bandits and stuff out here, but let's get back to the beginning. So, last time we left, we were about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger in some areas, a little bit smaller in some areas. But, so what happened? So, if you remember, before we had a civil war, I was justifying on the Western Brotherhood of Steel. And as you can tell, the Western Brotherhood of Steel isn't here anymore. So, because of that, we're, I was in a war w with Kaisar's Legion. Kaisar declared war on the Western Brotherhood of Steel. And then because of that, they diverted divisions away from the, my front to kill off the Brotherhood of Steel, or Western Brotherhood of Steel, in which I was able to push fairly decently into enemy territory. But then once the Brotherhood of Steel, the Western Brotherhood of Steel, got destroyed, I got pushed way back. This is actually better than what we started. Um, obviously, as you can tell, I've lost Blythe, Port Eridesh, and I, for a while here, was almost completely cut out, or cut off from the main forces through Kaisar's Landing. Like, it's been nuts. So, then this, the front stabilized a little bit, for the most part, really. Um, I've been losing the Long 15. I've been taking it and losing it, as you can tell right now, taking it and losing it back and forth as... Kaisar moves his divisions around, and I'm still getting attacked like crazy, even though their divisions, as you can tell, aren't very good. I'll show you the casualties in just a little bit, but... So because of this, Kaisar did his focuses, and... He finished a lot of the, his focuses, which... I've done the same. I'll show you all the focuses that I have done so far. Oh, they did the Baja Raiders. Oh. They did the new thesis, of course. I did the Brotherhood of Mars, so, whatever. Um... Old World Discoveries, they did that. They went down... This path, the Gaius Magnus path, even though I went down the Aurelius of Phoenix path. And then they did, uh, call, Calling Upon the Nomads. Kind of, and then, they got the 80s to declare war on me. And, which prompted the Mormons to attack the 80s and join the war against Kaisar's Legion. So here are the casualties. Um, they've lost 18,000. I've only lost 14,000, really 15,000 uh, man manpower so far. Compared to Kaiser's almost 200,000. I'm telling you. It's been crazy. Look at my manpower, 10,000. That's a lot better than what it should be. Because I'll be honest, I didn't use cons commands for any of this, to let you know. But I had to use state transfer tool mod because when I looked around, all of the places that we have were not cores. They were only colony states. Like Fortification Hill, our own capital wasn't... Uh, a call it was wasn't a core state. Neither was Hoover Dam, and sure, maybe Hoover Dam shouldn't be or Boulder City, but like Dry Wells wasn't a core state. Willow Beach wasn't a core state. Wiki Up, I don't own most of it, but still not a core state. Peach Springs, none of these were core states. So I had to core a lot of this territory just because it wouldn't make any sense. I wouldn't have been able to get any sort of manpower, but I eventually just cored all this stuff anyways, just because I thought, you know what, we might as well. And it doesn't make sense if I don't core this at all. Especially, like, we had a focus here. Um, uh, what was it? Smoke Out the Rats, Annex Hidden Valley, now's the core. I did that focus, and this still didn't become a core of mine for some reason. So I had to manually core it. So it's been crazy. Absolutely crazy. But I figured, you know, after two years, and after spending probably up until 3 o'clock in the morning playing this a little bit, and making sure I do okay. Uh, I think we're in a good enough spot. So I've been doing a lot of research. It's been two years. So this is all the research I've done for guns and stuff. It's I've done a lot. I've done a whole lot. Support companies are almost completely all done, except for fire teams, and except for uh, maintenance companies, which I know almost never use. Vehicles, I've unlocked great war tanks. Pretty cool. Robotics, haven't done anything for that except automation. Land Doctrine, it was Land Doctrine. Specialized Divisions, I'm starting to go down here. I do have a question for you at the beginning of this. Um, do you, would you prefer if I use a mixture of Power Armor and Praetorian Guard Special Unit Divisions, Elite Units, or just focus on Power Armor, or just focus on Praetorian Guards with the Special Unit 
D battalion template. Now, that's my question to you. Because I'm kind of okay with either or. I haven't done very much with Navy at all. Industry, pretty much finished all this up. So, really, should I use power armor? Should I not? Let me know in the comments below. And, yes, we are advanced. If you go advanced uh, as Brotherhood of Steel, it just... Brotherhood of Steel. Brotherhood of Mars, you automatically go advanced, which is really nice. Um, next up... I was going to say something else. Oh, we have... Oh, my God, the Steel Breakers. I love the Steel Breakers so much. Well... I like what I like what they can do. Steel breakers are really, really cool if you ask me. Because oh, I've also been making some more divisions. Eight divisions. Honestly, supply wasn't an issue. It was just having the manpower that was the main issue. Tribal military, we got coast guards, steel breakers, I'll show you in just a little bit. Um, but it's legionary legionary. Uh, I should show you the stats here first. Level six, five, seven, six. It's been two years, so I've had I've had more than enough political power. Well, Enough political power, so I can make sure that all my armies have generals. Oh, also we have Centurion Dickus here, as well as Aurelius of Phoenix. Good old Centurion Dickus. I love Centurion Dickus. Uh, cool. And that's those guys, but my, uh, Steel Breakers. There's a reason why they call them the Steel Breakers. It's because they have double demolition support companies. Jesus, that's amazing. And you know what? Just for fun, I made it 40 combat width. In which they're not, they don't even have logistic companies. They do use a ton of supply, but I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven demolition battalions in here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wait, oh crap, I, I forgot to count. Six, fourteen, fourteen infantry battalions and seven demolition battalions. Look at the stats. Look at that soft attack. Look at that breakthrough. That defense. Oh, and organization is still 43.7. It's so good. Uh, give me half, y'all. So I kind of figured someone did leave in the comments. Just focus on the right. So I'm like, all right, so be it. Uh, as you can tell, we're still getting attacked. I might as well speed up time as I'm talking about stuff. Uh, but yeah, manpower was the biggest issue. Just because I ran out of manpower and not having this stuff cored didn't make any sense. But since we're in a civil war, any territory I take from Kaisar should be core territory. Should be. Should be, right? Right? But yeah, this area's been a problem. I almost got all the way pushed back. I got pushed back here. Then I started building up some forts. Uh, also, there are some volunteers. I got volunteers from the foragers. For a while, I had volunteers from the Mormons until they went to war with Kaisar. Uh, do I have any more volunteers? I think they might have died. Yeah, they might have died. Also, I have power armor divisions. Brotherhood of Maw's divisions made them 20 combat with. They were 22 and a half with 10, or I guess 9 power armor battalion templates. Or 9... Battal eight power armor battalions, but honestly, I, I decided to stop playing and wait to show you guys just because well, I can't have all the fun by myself. Also, planes are just no problem. I mean, we do a ton of damage with planes now, which is just amazing. So, I spent a lot of time trying to make sure that we actually were okay here, so I had a lot of fun actually doing this. I actually had a lot of fun. Um, just struggling against Kaisar. The heretic. Also, let's look at their stats. So right now, Kaisar, he's doing air production, which he doesn't use air power. He has over 300 divisions, probably. Quite a few ships. Quite a few planes he doesn't use. Quite a few convoys. Quite a bit of manpower. Oh, just god, god amount of factories. Just insane. Uh, let's see, I got some more breakthrough and soft attack from my doggos. Some more daily political power and stability. Political advisor, mother shaman, speed demon, Kaisar's hound, can't do, can't do, can't do. I might be doing infrastructure, because I did want to build that up quite a bit. Mm, material designers. Mm, Tim's tanks. Angry tank. West tech. Interesting. Um, You know what? What sounds like fun? Killing a lot more of our enemies. So let's go ahead and get some more artillery attack, which means I think that's just grenade attack and stuff like that. Also, I was doing construction engineering for a while just because I want to start building up a lot of infrastructure. I thought that would be pretty good. Uh, radar. We're doing pretty darn well on radar at the moment. Resource wise, we could use a little bit more scrap metal. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more scrap metal. 40, 40, 30. Uh, I'll do that there and we'll do that there. Good. Good, 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 good. Oh, I have to make a choice. Special Forces Platoon Organization. Power Armor Organization. I don't like making decisions like that, so I'm not going to. Uh, fighter Detection? Sure, why not? 
and we'll get a better radar very soon. But yeah, it's been crazy. It's been crazy and crazily fun. But honestly, if I try to attack, I might still get pushed back. I have to be still be very careful with what I do here. Um, yeah, get some better radar. That'd be great. Do that, and do that. But you know, just a matter of time before things happen. Uh, uh. oh, another steel breakers. Love it. I'm gonna throw the steel breakers to you. Double steel breakers. Um, where is my other steel breaker? Yeah, supply. Probably isn't great down here. Go ahead and do that. I'm totally okay with leaving that around like this. That'll be good, just because steel breakers are just really good. Oh, ooh. oh no. I've been getting some resources from... Who? Oh, Ashton, Ashton, Ashton. Tohono Nation? Oh, we need convoys for that. No thanks. Sky Reavers. Thank you very much. But yeah, supplies. Really, it was never an issue. Really, really never an issue. But now, I guess, since we're here playing together, my friends, let's go ahead and teach Kaisar a lesson. He's using Centurion Fabric... Fabricius? Fabricius against Centurion Tertius. I mean, obviously, my divisions usually are just mostly winning. Um, I'm going to fill up my armies first. I think that'd probably be for the best. Yeah, there's those foragers. Yeah... The Mormons haven't really been able to win too much. They took out the 80s, but here, they haven't been able to break across. We got jet engines. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do some advanced power systems for more range and ground attack. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we're getting attacked in a few choice select areas. Glorious. Those puppets that rebelled against me shall receive no quarter. No quarter whatsoever. And I might need to focus a little bit more on my energy cell capacity usage. Beautiful. Losses. We've killed over 206,000... ...goblins from the Legion. Hmm. I, I was trying to find the right words, but they just didn't come out. Alright. Alright. On the offensive. Good. Pummel them. They cannot withstand us. Uh, oh yeah, I need to show you Mexico. Mexico's on fire. And by on fire, I mean Nueva Aztlán is killing everyone. There's, there's so much human sacrifice, I bet, down there. It's insane. But Imperial Mex Mexicano is doing okay. Rafael. I wonder if they went advanced. Can they go advanced? I don't think they can. He looks advanced, though. Republic of the Rio Grande. Yeah, Mexico's on fire, but when is Mexico not on fire? Even in today's world, Mexico... It's still at least a little bit on fire. Just at least a little bit. Um, you go ahead. I know I'm using mostly just infantry, but whatever. Uh, I believe I also took off some anti-tank on my divisions. I didn't see the need for tanked or anti-tank rifles anymore, seeing as, well, the Western Brotherhood of Steel is gone. The Mojave Brotherhood is gone. All we have left is the Washington Brotherhood of Steel that really uses armor. I mean, the Shoshone Nation's actually done really well, surprisingly. Under Chief Techki. Cool. Uh, the Desert Rangers are here. The Antelope Tribe killed off New Reno. Yeah, that was a little weird. Grab your territory. Give me back my legions. Oh, just die then. Yeah, so this has been just... Like I said, it's just... It's been a lot of fun playing this been a lot of fun. I'm kind of glad I have a channel that I can actually share this with you. I have not got enough factories that it doesn't really matter what happens. Dead horses? How many divisions do the Mormons have? Crazy horses? That's not bad. That's not bad. Not bad. 120? That's not bad. Oh no. Joshua Graham. He's the burned man. You know? Even though we might have a non-aggression pact with them right now, maybe. Maybe I don't. We still gotta kill them. I still want them as a slave, so. <clears throat> Alright, more choice areas of attack. Doesn't really look like we'll win. You know what, maybe we won't. But I have a good feeling we will. Very nice, very nice. Doing a great job, guys. 
pummeling those enemies. Just pummeling them. Oh, look at... Oh, man, they take so much damage from us. It's beautiful. So beautiful. While he may have more numbers, I have better divisions because mine actually have a little bit of strength. As we are slowly trying to push forward. Max agility, more max speed. Jet attack plane? Yes, daddy, yes. Oh, they're attacking us. I haven't moved from here too much just because we'd have to cover these tiles as well. So, it's really a waiting game, I suppose, to a degree. Got a few planes here. Nice. Do that. And then do that. Basic smeltery, very nice. Let's get advanced smeltery for even more stuff. You need some stuff. You need some more monoplane attackers. Very nice. Uh, Praetorian Guard could probably use a few more guys around here if they're going to attack. Our Navy's... I, I've completely kind of forgotten about the Navy. <clears throat> so this is the Navy. We got two battle cruisers, six light cruisers, ten destroyers, and four extra battle cruisers in reserve. Yeah, I got a lot of battle cruisers in reserve. You guys, go ahead and take these guys out. Unobstructive piloting. Glorious. Mission interception efficiency. Now, please let me scroll in. Thank you. Attack with five divisions. With all this extra air support, we are going to take back needles. Hopefully, we can get flagstaff soon, too. That'd be kind of interesting. Alright. Hit him hard, hit him hard. <clears throat> Praetorian Guard, how you doing? You're getting attacked a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. Um, anywhere else we can really put an assault. Mm, right here might work if we have more divisions around here. But this might cut it. They have a little bit of air support. Just watching their strength go down, 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 down. Good. Good. Um, any generals got any upgrades yet? I mean, a lot of our guys are very experienced in a lot of things that we do, but... Oh, jolly good. Maybe we can push out somewhere from here. Can you guys come down here? Yes, you can. Which means you guys will do that, except leave one division this way, which you're actually going to attack that way, and then you're going to leave one division there to attack that way. Genius strats. This way I can try to get to this shoreline as fast as possible. Very nice. Let them waste themselves on you. Good. Let the line get resettled. Figure out where else we can attack. You can definitely come over here, and then half of you come over here, and then if you guys could do so, that would be amazing, which means you guys should be able to do this, except for one of you. Good, 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 good. Good. Yeah, they're still struggling up there quite a bit. All but one. Give me half of y'all up here. Look at that strength go down. Nice. We are currently building more scrap. We might need a few more air bases around here, though. Um, put him in the long 15, put him over there, put him, eh, you might as well do that there for now. Nothing wrong with building more and more and more. Yakima Nation was annexed by the Shisho Nation, which is getting, at least it appears to be, quite strong. Alright, we're going to need some really strong individuals here. I definitely want to move this division out. Good. What's the damage we're doing here right now? 1.2. That's not a lot. Half? Not a lot. But it's enough for us to keep pushing. To 
Retake Flagstaff. Advanced power systems. Very nice. Smart range and ground attack. That's a little bit ahead of time. All aircraft range. Thank you. Going to kill him this way. Take after y'all. Take after y'all. Very good. They're just... They, they've killed themselves so hard on my line. It's not even funny. Give me all but you. Attack this way. See what you can do. Which means I might be able to throw the power armor divisions to help out here, too. Oh, yeah. Get that power armor. Even though there's probably... They're suffering quite a penalty to do this. Nice. And circle these divisions. Thank the Lord. Go ahead and kill them off. Take half of you guys and do the same thing. Because if we can kill these guys off, then we can push over here a little bit more. Ah, beautiful. Truly a beautiful sight to see. I love field hospitals. Especially when they work so well for me. We have y'all come up out of here. Now we will have a little bit of fun. Exchange you guys around. Because I don't want to use a power armor for this. Can they pierce you? No. We have air superiority. And they can't pierce us. Glorious. Get crushed. Oh, starvation is always a good thing to see when your enemies are suffering from it. We've only encircled 18 divisions here. Only 18, I know it could be more. But alas, it is what it is. Oh, hello? Is it me you're calling for? We will get to Flagstaff by the end of this video. To Flagstaff. Um, the line is looking a little weak in some areas, and that's okay. Take half, attack, take uh, two-thirds, and attack as well. Definitely need more divisions. Very nice. Very, very good. Oh, were we getting attacked over there? Oh, that's alright. See what happens. We're getting attacked over there. That's okay. Because we have even better radar now. Nice. We're done with industry. Or, I mean, engineering. Let's keep doing this. Uh, purification stations? Sounds good by me. A little bit maybe better radar? Yeah. I will know what's going on in the Mojave even before anyone else knows what's going on. Oh, we're beginning to the edge of Flagstaff. Oh, I hope Kaisar's in here, shaking in his boots. That's a lot of army XP, now that I've noticed it. You guys actually might be able to do okay here. Yep, push him out, push him out. Alright, you guys are going to come this way, except for this one division. Send one thing of power armor your way as well. Nice. It looks like they might have some anti-air on them, on their divisions, so. Do that, do that. Take a look at the airport. Do that. Do that. Do that, and we'll do one more. I love close air support so much, as you can probably tell. Do that. Uh, I'm going to put you under here, and I'll put you under... Yes. And over here, we need to actually support some more of our legions. Our, our own proper legions. Legions. Good. You're going to do all of that. Good. That does hurt into, or get into our uh, energy cell usage, but that's okay. If I can attack Blath, I can still encircle a few more enemies. Bush Ranger, East Generation, Division Recovery Rate, that's alright. Um, research speed, we don't really need that. Infrastructure and Civilian, ah, we might as well do that since I'm still building I'm trying to build up a lot of this stuff. I could do other focuses, but I don't want to do them until the Civil War is over. 
Do that. Actually, you have... Hmm. Huh. Going to convert... Well, convert these two to proper legions. And do this. Put you over here. That'll be good. That'll be very good. Now, I want to try to make an encirclement. I don't know if it's going to work, though. It might just work, though. Encircle these divisions down here. That would be great. Get ready to spring the attack, my men. Come on. Immediately attack. D oh, more ground attack? Sure. Another legion? Great. Jet attack planes. Nuclear powered attack planes. Beautiful. Where are you? There you are. Just beautiful. Oh, look at that green bar down beneath Commanding Officer Centurion Portunus. We're getting better, stronger, and better all the time. Can I attack here? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, where else can we strike? Give me half of you guys. They're attacking there, that's fine. Give me half of y'all. Y'all attack here. Give me three divisions, you attack there. Uh, you guys attack there. Half of you guys attack here. Well, see if you can do that. I don't know if they can or not. It'll be an interesting result to see, though. Oh! Liberator del Sur declared war on the Sinaloa Cartel. Alright, this is not looking very good for all oh, the Freedom Fighters. They never even won their war. Oh, that's sad. Now, we're going to put a few more planes on, and then we might try a general push. Let's get some more planes up here on the front, though. I want a few more planes first, and then we'll try a general push. Oh, a small little encirclement. Alright, I'm only going to attack with a single power armor division. Now, now double it. Come on. Stop getting attacked. Okay, never mind. They died. Okay. That's still overpowered. Jesus Christ. The Brotherhood of Mars division. Ugh. So good. Alright. A few more planes. Very nice. Station him over here. We need another general for this guy. But I don't have 55 political power. Give me three seconds. After we do this. Resource-wise, we need more... Oh, we've got plenty of scrap. We need more aluminum as well as circuitry. It's another steel breaker. Throw you under here. And three. Two. One. Commence Operation Flagstaff. Unleash hell, some would say. Now, we're not going to win every battle, and that's okay with me. We just need to win most of them. Now, once we start taking these territories down here, I'm going to have to advance from this direction as well. Which we should be able to do relatively okay-ish in some areas, probably. For example, here. They don't have a lot of divisions, which is good. But we really can't... we got to make sure we got to take this. Two divisions are holding the literal center of the line. And they can hold the center. Oh, my goodness. I need some more energy cells. Uh, yeah, you guys come down here. Nice. Yeah, we, we definitely have to push here. Go extreme. Uh, it would help if you could just cut these guys off. Oh, we need some more. Oh, that's going to be a lot of planes probably being used right now. Um, energy cells are used for... From energy... Oh, and I can't get a lot of energy. I'll take whatever I can get. Um, yeah, nice. Oh, 
The fall of Flagstaff, long the seat of Khazar's absolute power, fell last night to Brotherhood of Maz. Although Khazar stayed to command the defense until defeat was all but certain, even his military wisdom could not save the city surrounded as it was by Brotherhood of Maz earlier pincer movements. In his infinite wisdom, Khazar ordered a last stand, commanding his elite Praetorian Guard to fire on any units that attempted to desert. Ultimately, the order only served to delay the capture of the city at large by a day. Although even now, sporadic fighting continues between invading forces and the Praetorian Guard units hold up in the building. Khazar's palace also appears to be holding out still. Although this might shortly change when the Brotherhood of Maw's demolition teams get into position. Plenty more cities to fall back upon. How did the Legion have to have slaves? Hmm. Not sure I understood. But nice. Resource wise, eh, still pretty much the same. I wonder if we've just broken the back of the Legion. Probably not. Probably not. But this is not good. We must continue advancing and pushing hard into enemy territory. Because we gotta make sure we at least take this tile and this tile. That's probably, probably the most important to do right now. Go ahead. Oh, we almost cut these guys off. If we can just take off a little bit more territory. I just need one division over here. Please, get, get your booty over here. I need you over here right now. Because this is going swimmingly. Much better than it was last night at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys are doing great. Nice. Uh, do we have any upgrades? Aerial fueling. More range. Airship defense. Screw it. We'll do it. Why not? Oh, and we can have another general. Cool. Career officer. Not bad. Reckless, though. Hmm. Take what I can get right now. Oh. Paulus. No, not very much for you. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, possum. But this is probably going to take quite a while to accomplish, as we are getting more and more ma manpower. Right now, we are currently at... Well, we're supposed to be at 26% uh, total conscripted population. But obviously, the number is going higher than 26%, if I add my math up correctly. Of course, effective total manpower by my manpower modified to 111%, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I think we're doing really well. I set myself up for a lot of success over here. Over here... You guys can kind of stop it. Oh, that's not really good. You guys can move in, though. This is very weak. In the north, that's very weak as well. What happened to all my divisions? I guess I didn't have that many divisions to start with, really. Nice. This is really good. Oh, the Mormons even... Were, were they able to puncture a hole? No, it's the foragers that punctured a hole somehow. They went over there, took some territory. And now they're back over here. Glorious. Truly, truly glorious. 16%. 274. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Oh, these men, they just can't even hold up anymore. Glorious. How much manpower does Kaiser have left? Quite a bit of manpower. They are on extensive conscription at 25%. The dredgers declared war on the Whistler Nomads. Beautiful. And how close are we to the capitulating? Not very close whatsoever. Only 17%. Which means this is going to be one giant mess, but we've almost we've already made it to the Navajo Nation. Wow. Just wow. Um, actually, can I get some more, uh, electricity? That would be great, but regardless, that's all the time for that I have today. We have succeeded very well, done very greatly. Regardless, it's 2285, and I will see you tomorrow as we hopefully will wrap up Kaiser's Legion and begin to push into potentially Mormon territory or other territory around the world. Or at least the world that we care about. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new if you haven't already. Check out my Discord link below. And I will see you all tomorrow, and I hope you have a great, great day.